Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of God Legs. All right, that might be just a little bit too energetic, but it's Saturday today. It's actually pretty good weather outside. We're around 11, 12 degrees, a tiny bit of wind and uh, blue skies. So the idea is to head out on the bike today and do some training. I haven't done much riding this week because the weather has been quite cold and it's been a bit rainy, quite windy, all that stuff. Today it's looking a lot better. Um, I've used the time instead to do a lot of, uh, of weight training. Yesterday I did like a deadlift max where I reached my one rep max in the deadlift. Ended up at 150 kilos. The day before, I did a squat max, which was uh, 170, 127 kilos. So one, two, seven. Pretty happy with both results. It's been a while since I've lifted that much and the only downside to lifting that kind of weight is my lower back and my pelvis tends to get a little bit compressed and that bothers me a bit on the bike because if you ever feel like that lower back ache when you're out on the bike, it kind of shuts off the entire uh, leg system. So. It just gets harder to ride my bike. So the last couple of days I've been mobilizing my back a lot, moving around, stretching, doing all that stuff, making sure that I'm in pretty good balance. I don't drink coffee normally. I actually never drink coffee, but I've uh, really gained interest in these like, uh, don't even know what you call it, energy drinks. Basically contains the same amount as a cup of coffee, but tastes a lot better if you don't like coffee. So this is a Noco strawberry uh, thingy. Unfortunately, a limited edition, so they don't make it anymore. Um, but it's the best one I've tried so far, taste-wise. Really, really good. <sighs> Anyways, let's get on the bike and do some riding. By the way, this is a brand new kit from Chase Cyclist. Just got it a couple of days ago. Uh, they just launched a new, uh, two new designs, an orange one and, and this. And uh, I tried out the orange one a couple of days ago. It was fantastic, it's a skin suit. So uh, it's very tight fitting. And uh, this is a regular jersey and bib shorts. And uh, I 
think this look uh, this looks quite nice but uh let's uh get on with it let's do some sprinting there's a guy on some sort of electrical skateboard right here doing slalom but what can you do sprinting <laughs> So that's the end of the ride. I think I ended up doing just around 50 kilometers out on the airstrip and a lot of sprinting. So I think I ended up doing two sets of six seconds off or six seconds on and 54 seconds off. So five of those take like a five minute break, then do five again. Then I took a little bit longer break and ended up doing uh, a 10 second sprint every two, sec uh, two minutes uh, and ended up doing five or six of them or so. Great to be back on the bike. Uh, great to actually be able to ride in the summer kit without having to have a vest on or anything like that. Of course, still have to wear these, uh, these sleeves, but I can live with that. Uh, still too cold to ride without sleeves and without uh, leg warmers. But we're getting there. And just the fact that you can ride without a vest, without having winter clothes on, without having shoe covers on, that was just fantastic. One of the benefits of riding out on the airfield is that there's no trees out there. So you get the sun all the time, which means that you don't get as cold as if you were riding through a forest or something like that where the temperature drops quite a bit. The disadvantage to it is that you can't really hide from the wind. So sometimes when I plan a route, I'll usually ride through um, a forest or something like that when I have a headwind and then on a more open stretch when I have a tailwind. That'll uh, give me a higher speed, average speed. But when you're out on the airstrip, there's just no place to hide at all. But it was a great workout. So now it's time to do a bit of stretching before the rest of the family gets home. Uh, watch the the end of the uh, Perry Roubaix, Roubaix for the women, and uh, hoping that Emma Norskol is doing fine. Um, so let's stretch a bit and uh, watch a bit of video.
So the stretching is done and it's about time to grab some dinner. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, watch the other videos, and until next time, bye.